you know, stadium noise or cocktail noise or whatever. It's not long before I'm doing this. Well, uh, I, I think one of the great misfortunes is that we didn't get to hear you on TV for a long period of time. I'll be honest with you. I just thought you would be the greatest analyst. That, oh, thank you. Uh, I'll tell you, I loved it. I had a great part. I was actually talking to, right before I walked into this room with Marv Albert. He's doing, doing me a favor for another charity. And uh, uh, Kevin Harlan and Marv Albert are going to do a little piece for the College All-Star Bowl that's coming up that I'm hmm. the commissioner for uh, and on Valentine's night. So, I don't know if this was planned, but uh, being this is 25 years to the week, that you guys were in Super Bowl 23. Do you reflect much on those days? Oh boy, do I ever. I I remember a lot of things in great detail and a lot of things that people will bring up. I say, oh, you know, I haven't thought about that in a long time. So I guess it's selective memory, but uh, you don't have a better time than when you're winning big. And we were winning big because we had great players and a terrific coaching staff. <clears throat> they could have won bigger if they didn't have you know, a head coach holding them back, <laughs> but we had uh, we had great chemistry. We had great leadership, and guys like Boomer Sice and Anthony Munoz, and right on down the line, I could almost name everybody on the team because there wasn't a guy that didn't take a leadership role when he had to. But um, and they also took a a player's role when the big play had to be made. Somebody found a way to make it, and the, the town is. We all remember that we're here. What a great uh, year it was, uh, especially after the poor year we'd had the year before. It was just like, you know, cold water in your face that we're waking up and we're going to have a good year. Um, I, as a coach, do you ever think back to the last drive by Montana, that last 34 seconds? I remember seeing the shot of you. I mean, they show it every year kind of on the sidelines like, God, this one's getting away. Well, yeah, and, um, you know, Dick LeBeau is our defensive coordinator, and and I let Dick handle anything like that. Dick was the defensive guy and I and I did more contributions in the offensive side of the ball but um, I know Joe Montana I knew the offense over there I've been with Bill Walsh his first four years in San Francisco I've been with with Joe Montana his first four years in the in the pros and his first Super Bowl win and I knew that if you play prevent defense that they're going to move the ball down there they just they're smart enough and Joe's clever enough to do it and I thought we ought to bring you know bring more people bring five and they'll lay the ball off come up make the tackle be second and eight um, but we, the strategy was good. We just drop an interception a couple of plays before the touchdown, uh, and if we don't drop the interception, we we win the ball game because I think they had one timeout left and it was 56 seconds on the clock, so we could kneel down and uh, beat on our chest. But we played a great game. It was great for TV. I'll tell you, <laughs> the networks loved it. The sponsors loved it. When you think back, the thing that happened the night before with Stanley Wilson, do you think it distracted your team at all or took away from that? Well, it had to distract them somewhat for a while. But I don't know that once you get in a game, that something like that ever comes into your mind, honestly. You're so focused on the game. But, uh, yeah, that night when I told the team, you know, that Stanley wasn't going to play, that uh, he'd gotten back into the stuff. And I can I could remember them throwing their playbooks on the ground and they're, you know, putting their head in their hands and, and they knew that Stanley was, I guess, vulnerable more than I did. And the guys in the locker room know more generally than the coach does. And um, but the uh, they weren't expecting this. Certainly not the night before the game. We'd had a walk through on the practice on the game field that morning. He had his wife and his mom and his dad there. He'd flown them in from California. There wasn't a hint of a problem. And then uh, you know that happened. But I b believe in my heart, if we'd have had him in that ball game, we'd have won that ball game going away. It wouldn't have been a close game. We would have won the game because his running style would have fit. You remember the turf wasn't watered right, and it was right. coming up in chunks. And you had Icky Woods and Stanford Jennings and, and uh, James Brooks were all long striding bin back runners. And when they do that, that turf would come loose. But Stanford or Stanley was a wide striding, you know, kind of Barry Sanders runner, and he would have had people missing. But we didn't have him, and then, of course, the loss of Tim Crumry early in the game didn't help either. But our guys played well. Uh, David Grant went in for Tim Crumry, had a great game, actually, and uh, and it came down to the wire. Somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. Greg Noble was talking to you from our website earlier, and he said that after the game, you actually had a chance to go become the 49ers coach. Is that correct? I had, uh, well, the, you know, he's asked me not to do anything. The owner did, don't do anything until I had a time to chance to talk to him. And uh, my contract was up with, with the Bengals. That was my fifth year. And um, 
I said, fine, I'll, you know, I'll give it some thought, but I've got two kids in high school. I don't know if I'm going to pull them out. And, um, and I didn't, I, you know, I stayed there. And of course, pretty quick that uh, we got together in Cincinnati and went our way. George Seaver was a terrific coach. I mean, he was, you know, he was the guy along with me that were the two guys that they were going to choose from, no question about it. I know he wanted to get you in there. I appreciate you taking the time. Thanks very much.